guys. I was getting busy back here. Putting in a, a little skirt right here. It's taking some big damage back here. It was starting to crinkle all up, so I went ahead and put the skirt on. I was all a-holes and elbows today. Cut these pieces out of my plasma. Um, this was all rusted up, so it was banging in there and shaking. So I had to do something about it. So I went ahead and put uh, three inch by three eighths or three sixteenths uh, metal in there. I did those holes with my plasma, you know, did it the best I could. Good enough. Reinforced it here, the bar. I came across with some, um, what was that, C channel all the way around. So it's pretty stout now. For some reason, I like to hit that back end. I come right on along here and scrape and then pow, right on there. So it was starting to fold over. That was disintegrating, so I had to do something about that. The other thing too that I have is um, my, my clutch guard right there. So I did the clutch guard. I was getting hung up right here. I ended up putting this little ramp right here I did all the holes with my plasma. There. Now I shouldn't get hung up anymore, hopefully. Nice little ramp, one inch, and then this is like two and a half or something like that. But yeah, just messing around with my plasma cutter out here in the backyard, goofing off. Sunday making a bunch of noise <laughs> I just got done with this side I did the exact same thing over here gotta throw a little paint action on there yeah I came up on a this is three quarter inch by three sixteenth wall and it goes straight up on this thing here so when it comes down crunch it's good support only problem is is this connected to the body and if I ever take the body off um, I don't see why I should but that one day I do I just have to come here and zip that off and then uh, when I put it back on just throw a weld on there rinse and repeat do the same thing the other side Nice and strong. These bolts are fake bolts. They don't go through the body. I just made a hole in the back and then welded them in. I didn't feel like uh, fighting back here with bolts and whatnot. It's a Home Depot special. Kind of looks like Big Willie style. What I should have done, I should have done one like, like Charlie's. Charlie's came out real good, and he didn't have to build the ramp. He was just all integrated. Check it out. Okay, so this is my skid plate to guard my clutch pedal, brake pedal. I'm using the factory cross member. Put some braces in there. Put a brace back there with a the factory hole. And then put some braces up there, the factory holes. So I don't have bolts in right now. The bottom plate, quarter inch thick. And how I bent it as you can see right here, I just scored it and then uh, I bent it, put some heat on it, not much, and then I welded it all back together on all my bins. It's held up pretty good so far. You can have no problems, no issues, plenty of clearance. I'll 
hope that helps you out, man. Yeah. Put some light on it now. And then mine, I kind of copied, um, I kind of copied David's design when I was under his Jeep looking at it when we were at the King of the Hammers. I like these little things here. And, uh, put bolts through them. And it works good. Just get in there and zip zip right on out of there. Yup. Pretty sweet. Well, this little plasma cutter is kicking ass. There's that piece I cut out. That's my ramp. I gotta clean it all up. Yeah, but anyhow, I was just showing you what was going on. I'm going to the going to Moab Easter Jeep Safari next weekend, so I was hustling and knocked that thing out real quick. I'm gonna go test her out next weekend. Almost. Uh, I centered. Come on, baby. Yeah. Oh, shit. up on the trailer got it all rigged up ready to go we'll leave first thing in the morning and uh, I wanted to show you guys I haven't washed it at all or anything like that and uh, I wanted to take it home and show you guys the hits that I took underneath here and the little dents or whatever walk around but um, let's do it now just in case we get rained on and get all the marks off <laughs> start up front uh, the old Wincheronis right here. Took some hits here on the bumper. Here. A lot of hits down there. My steel plate down here took a bunch of hits. What else we got here? My poor hubs, boy. They almost got sheared off. Let's see, my little ramp, this thing kicked butt, I think. <laughs> Can't really see there, but this, if you can see that, took many hits. Saved my clutch pedal from getting all jacked up. Definitely need one of these. I don't know, I think that might have been there already. Nope, looks like it took a hit there. Some serious articulation going on. 
course, these things are earned their keep, boy. Tell you what, they're sliding all over those rocks, banging and sliding, banging and sliding. <laughs> Down here, the rear shackles, rear diff, panel hitch, all these right here. This guy took a serious amount of hits. I rolled it to the side. I had it up on one wheel on Hell's Revenge and smacked it like that. Took out my mirror. Yeah, this thing got yeah, used up pretty good. The other hub. Well, yeah. I think we did all right, though, huh? All that work I did. The drive line I thought was getting hit, but it wasn't. It was the, that shield down here. You can see it. Oh, I stick my hand down there. Took a serious amount of scraping and scrapping down there. <laughs> These guys, too. That one over there. Sorry, I'm gonna get you dizzy. Yeah, we did pretty good. I'm glad I took the time to put all that little body armor down in there. But yeah, if you guys bring it over here or anything like that, uh, these would probably be pretty good ideas to get your rig going. Go over here and bounce off some rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching.